The Last of Us Part II, remastered originally a 2024 release, has just made its way to PC on April 3, 2025. Powered by Naughty Dog's in-house engine, the game surprisingly runs on fairly minimal system requirements. If you didn't already know, I've previously uploaded a video on improving performance in The Last of Us Part 1, so if you're struggling with that game too, be sure to give it a watch. But in today's video, we're focusing on Part 2, and I'll show you how to get the best possible FPS on low-end systems, so let's jump right into it. Starting with the display settings, I've set the screen resolution to 1080p. However, if you're aiming for even better FPS, you can drop it as low as 800 by 600. Though for this demonstration, I'm sticking with 1080p. V-Sync is turned off, and the frame rate cap is set to 360 FPS, which is the maximum limit allowed by the game. I've enabled NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and set it to On Plus Boost for reduced input lag. Frame generation is also turned on to help generate additional frames. For the upscaling method, I've selected DLSS with the quality set to Ultra Performance for the best FPS boost. Moving on to the graphics settings, I've turned every preset down to the lowest possible to maximize performance. I highly recommend you do the same to get smoother and more playable frame rates. With all these settings applied, let's jump in and check out the in-game performance. Overall, I'd say the game is still very much playable. Honestly, I'm quite impressed with Naughty Dog for how well-optimized this title is on PC. The frame rates I'm getting right now are pretty solid, and the gameplay feels smooth. Now let's switch the upscaling method from DLSS to FSR and see how that performs. With FSR enabled, the game remains playable, but it's not quite as fast or smooth as DLSS. That said, the choice between DLSS and FSR really depends on your hardware and personal preference. Both options are usable, but DLSS definitely has the edge in performance. However, if your game is still lagging or stuttering, don't worry. Stay with me till the end of this video because I've got some additional tweaks to show you that can help you squeeze out even more FPS. So now, let's exit the game and dive into what else we can do to improve performance. The configuration file for this game is located inside the Windows registry. To access it, go to H key current user, software, Naughty Dog, The Last of Us Part 2. Then graphics. The first tweak you can try is disabling async compute but only do this if you're using an older graphics card or integrated GPU that can still handle the game. If you're using a decent or modern GPU like I am, it's best to leave it enabled. Next, do not disable the cinematic pillar boxes option, as that can cause visual bugs or glitches in the game. However, you can safely disable HDR preferred, screen effects, and water caustics for a small performance game. You can also change the in-game resolution from here. I'm dropping it to 720p, and make sure you input the value under the decimal tab. That's pretty much all you can tweak in the registry for now. If you're not comfortable editing these settings manually, don't worry. I've made a pre-configured registry file that applies all the optimal settings in just one click, and you can download it from the video description. Once all the changes are done, Go back to the Last of Us Part 2 folder and disable the game launcher to prevent it from automatically overriding your settings. Now let's check out how the game performs after these adjustments. Now before anyone jumps into the comments asking, what's this weird visual glitching after the tweaks? Let me clear that up right away. The black border or visual glitch you might see isn't caused by the tweaks I showed you. It's actually a known issue with the game itself when running at lower screen resolutions like 720p or below, so don't blame me for that one. If it bothers you, just try switching to a slightly higher resolution and it should fix itself. That said, the FPS boost is real. You can clearly see the difference after applying these changes. But if your system is still struggling, or the game continues to stutter, I've got another solution for you. There's a mod available, and I recommend trying out the Zero Stutter Fix mod. You'll find the link in the video description, just download it, extract the files, go to any folder and copy the two main files into your game directory. I highly recommend backing up the original files before replacing them, just in case something goes wrong. Once that's done, let's jump into the game again and see if there's any noticeable improvement. Well, I can't guarantee 100% that the mod will completely eliminate stutters for everyone, but give it a try yourself and see how it works on your system. And don't forget to let me know your results in the comments. 
So guys, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing The Last of Us Part 2 remastered on their low- to mid-range PCs. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. So until then, take care and bye.